Hello everyone. This is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dispose of underapplied or overapplied overhead using cost of goods sold approach. So first you need to know that there are three methods to dispose of um, overapplied or underapplied overhead. Uh, there is adjusted allocation rate approach, there is a proration approach, and then right off to cost of goods sold approach. Adjusted allocation rate approach and proration approach are discussed in separate videos. Uh, so in this particular video, I'm going to discuss how to dispose of underapplied or overapplied overhead using a write off to cost of goods sold approach. Okay, so here is some data that I provided you. Now, if you wanted to know how I get th these, uh, the actual balances in MOH account or the applied balances, there is another video that I have recorded um, that provides you general entries and everything um, regarding the um, underapplied and overapplied uh, overhead or uh, MH, M MOH actual and applied. Uh, you can watch that video to see. Um, if not, then assume that this amount is given. So the actual side is given because in this video, we are only going to um, you know, uh, use the over allocated or under allocated or over applied or under applied overhead to cost of goods sold. You know, we I assume that that you know all the process that took uh, how to calculate the manufacturing overhead applied, um, uh, over applied or under applied. So uh, this T account provides you um, the actual side and applied side. Uh, the actual side shows that 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 you have a a hundred fifteen thousand um, dollar of the actual amount that you incurred during the period, and applied side shows one hundred ten thousand you applied during the period, uh, which gives you a debit balance when you subtract one hundred ten from one hundred fifteen thousand, gives you five thousand dollar of debit balance, and debit balances means that you underapplied the overhead. When you underapply overhead, you basically understate cost of goods sold and you overstate operating income. Again, there, uh, that is also discussed in another video. Uh, you can watch that. Okay, here I'm showing you cost of goods sold T account. Okay, and I'm assuming that the in you know the corporation um, the cost of goods sold amounted to hundred um, amounted to eighty thousand dollar for the current year. Here is the income statement example is given. Uh, the data has been thrown here, um, and just uh, using the assumption that the sales was three hundred thousand. And and this side right here it shows before dispose of do is dispose of before disposing of and this side will show once we calculate um you know how to dispose of once we dispose of cost of, to um, the underapplied or overapplied overhead to cost of goods sold and this side will show how uh, the amount after disposing of all right so uh 300000 is provided um is uh, the assumption cost of goods sold information is coming from the t account $80,000 when you subtract that you get 220,000 for gross profit all right and then the um, there is an assumption that operating expenses are $60,000 you subtract that you get $160,000 operating income okay so this this data is given now because you have a debit balance in moh account which means that you underapplied and underapplied by $5,000. That means your cost of goods sold would be understated by $5,000 and your operating income would be overstated. So that amount you have here, $80,000, is, is an understatement of your cost of goods sold. And $160,000 is, is the overstatement. Okay, so how do you fix that? So because MOH has a debit balance, in order to fix that, you have to credit MOH by $5,000, right? You add... 5,000 towards the credit side. So you credit MOH by 5,000, okay? So when you have a, uh, when you have a general entries, because we follow double entry in uh, accounting system, right? The amount which is credited, you know, the same amount needs to be debited. Or if the amount is debited, the same amount needs to be credited. So here, when you credit $5,000 in MOH, you have to debit the same amount, $5,000, okay? Because we are using um, disposing off to cost of goods sold approach, we have to debit cost of goods sold by that amount. So debit cost of goods sold, credit MOH by $5,000. Okay, when you debit $5,000 in cost of goods sold, your cost of goods sold is going to increase. 
buy that amount, 5,000. You need to add 5,000 here. So when you add them together, this will give you $85,000 in cost of goods sold. So look at here, you had $80,000 previously, and now you have $85,000, okay? So after disposing of, the cost of goods sold balance increased because you underapplied uh, manufacturing overhead. So after disposing of, now if you look at the figure on the income statement, um, you still have same sales, 300,000, but your cost of goods sold amount increased by $5,000, making it to $85,000 which is going to cause a decrease in your gross profit, right? By the same amount, right? $5,000 if cost increased, your gross profit is going to decrease by the same amount, okay? Assuming operating income stays the same, your operating income is going to decrease. Remember that, that your operating income was overstated. If it was overstated, you need to fix that. So once you uh, fix the cost of goods sold, it's going to decrease operating income and that will fix the problem. Okay, we use cost of goods sold uh, write-off approach method when uh, our uh, over-applied or under-applied overhead is not significant. If it's not a significant amount, it's an easy to follow approach. You can just close it to cost of goods sold approach. All right, now I'll give you another example when uh, in which uh, you're, you have over-applied overhead. In this case, you have under-applied uh, your MOH. Now, in the next one, you're going to see that you have over-applied overhead. So in this example, uh, you see here that you have applied 125,000, you actually incurred 115,000, which means that you over-applied by 10,000. 125 minus 115 is 10,000. You over-applied by 10,000. So when you over-apply, right, or you have a credit balance now in this case, then you're over, you overstate cost of goods sold and you understate operating income, right? Remember, I will go back to the previous slide. What happened here? When you underapplied, you understated cost of goods sold and you overstated operating income. Here, when you overapplied, you overstated cost of goods sold and you understated operating income. Totally opposite, okay? So how do you fix that? Okay, so if you look at here, because you overapplied, you have more in credit balance in MOH. So in order to fix that, you have to debit MOH by 10,000. So you would debit MOH by 10,000. Because we are closing it with cost of goods sold, so you have to credit cost of goods sold with the equal amount, so you credit. In the previous example, you have debited cost of goods sold and you have credited MOH. This example is totally opposite. You have debited MOH, you have credited cost of goods sold. Now cost of goods sold had a debit balance. Now in this case, you are going to credit $10,000. Remember previous example, you have added $5,000 because you had a, you were debiting cost of goods sold. In this case, you are crediting, so you are going to put it on the credit side, which is going to decrease the balance in your cost of goods sold account. So 80,000 minus 10,000 will give you 70,000 because your cost of goods sold initially was overstated by $10,000, so you are subtracting that amount and it will fix your cost of goods sold problem, all right? Now, income statement is provided. This is for before and disposing of, right? 300,000 is your sales, 80,000 is your cost of goods sold, gives you gross profit 20, 220,000, operating expenses 60,000, 160,000, okay? After disposing of, now what happens? That sales is same, now your cost of goods sold has declined, has dropped to 70,000, okay? So it has reduced by 10,000 because you have uh, initially overstated your cost of goods sold by that 10, by amount, 10,000, okay? So now you have to subtract that 10,000. So this gives you 70,000. So once you subtract that, now your gross profit is fixed, right? 220,000 before, now it's 230,000. Assuming operating expenses stay same, your operating income will increase by the amount of your over-applied overhead. So 170,000, because it was understated before, now you fix the problem and it reflects you the, 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 uh, the correct amount of the operating income as well as the cost of goods sold. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you. Uh, thank you for watching my video. 
Um, if you like to see live updates, um, you may want to subscribe my channel.